Welcome back to the channel. So, 10 days ago, I introduced a queen to this two frame split. I did the split 17 days ago. Left and week, introduced a new queen. Back here, doing a full up inspection 10 days later, check the queen's being inspected. Now, if you did see that video, I used a direct release method, alternative queen introduction method. If you didn't see that video, I'll put it on the screen up here at the end of this video. Anyway, so open them up. Have a look at that getting on. So I say Queen was introduced 10 days ago. They've taken all the feed, had some fondant also just in case. So these two frames were brewed. This was a drawn frame, I believe. So let's just take a look. Hopefully the queen settled in nicely. That first frame out. You can see that frame. It stores one side. So that was a blank frame. They've drawn one side completely, started filling it. The other side, they're still drawing it. So when we pop that back in, we all spin that around to encourage them to draw the other side. I would expect to see the queen on one of these two frames. So they were fully drawn frames, brood frames. Okay, see bee bread in there on that frame. Stores at the top. Same on both sides. The fact they're bringing in bee bread, pollen, and make it bee bread is a good sign because that's what they use to feed brood. Again. Okay, so we have larvae. Now, well, you can see we have larvae. We have young larvae, so the queen is laying, although we have not yet seen her. This side again, larvae. So, if I can move some bees, give you a closer look. Young larvae. It'll be interesting to see how they've got along with these other frames. That frame is just stores. That again was a blank frame, undrawn. They've drawn one side, they're on with drawing the other. <coughs> this was a drawn frame. And they haven't done much with it. And this plastic frame, they haven't touched it. So I just want to go through the colony one more time because we have not yet seen the queen. Now we know the queen's in there and we know she's laying because there's young larvae.
decaying larvae. I don't know how well you can see it. So, 100% queen's in here, 100% she's laying, young larvae in there, I can't see her. I don't want to mess with them too much. I don't want to risk accidentally squishing the queen. I don't want to disturb them too much. You don't necessarily have to find the queen. So an evidence for queen. If you look at that side of the frame, that is absolutely chocker with bees. The queen is probably somewhere in amongst all that. And looks like mucking about with them and moving them. Just so that I can show you the queen on the video. 100% know she's in there, we know she's laying. We'll come back in a week's time. We'll do another inspection and by that point we should be seeing cat brood. So there we confirmed the Queen's Lane even though we didn't see her. Like I say, you don't need to necessarily see the Queen, just evidence that the Queen's there. Young larvae, brilliant. We'll come back in a week, do another inspection and we should be seeing cat brood at that point and maybe in that inspection we might see the Queen. I think the issue is that the majority of the bees are congregated on these kind of three frames. I reckon the Queen's on that frame in amongst all those hundreds of bees. So I'm going to feed them, put the lid back on, come back in a week, do another inspection. Like I say, if you want to see the video where I did this split and introduced the Queen, I put it up here. If you want some more gardening beekeeping videos, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.